All right, here we go. Natural history and general science. Okay, the first question. Describe a walk you had this term and what you found. Well, one of the walks was when I went to the cliffs at Glen Rock to go diving off them and and we had and I had some fun and then I walked on like and I walked on some of the rocks and like I like there was this one part where I almost fell between the rocks and then I saw this really cool rock formation and so it's like it's like there was like this small rock then this big rock and then um, a medium rock on top and all of, and like they were like precariously balanced but like none of them fell at all which was really cool and Oh. Oh, and I found um a boot with like tiny minnows in it in the water, and I didn't touch it because I was scared of them. The tiny minnows, because I haven't seen that tiny minnows before, so I just didn't want to touch it. <laughs> and but um oh yeah. Oh yeah, and like we saw like a bunch of um, glass and this, and I saw this like gigantic driftwood on the um, on the sand, and that's what I saw, and that's where we went. And so another one is when I went to you know wait I went to go shooting with. Um, my big brother Zach and so I <laughs> so and we saw prairie dogs and they were like like so like this like this so like to explain what they were doing like this was kind of like the like surface of the hole and we were like like under in the hole in their holes and then when they heard us driving by they like stuck their tails up and did this like squirrels and then they went back in and then looked up again and then one of them made this big sound and the other ones made like this gigantic sound like, like they made a lot of sounds like I don't know what they were doing with those sounds but they were probably warning it, like all the other ones that like something was coming and probably and then they're so, and then we went shooting, and um, we, like, Zach had this, he had, like, this, um, kind of, like, kind of, like, the brim of this cream soda can, and we tried to, like, shoot them and break them, but it was, like, this, like, really fragile brick thing, so whenever it got off shot or fall or fell it would um break and then another one is when i walked with my sister savannah and we went like we went to uh, all the way to the to downtown from here and we saw a bunch of um like antelope like like there was like these eight does and then one of the does was in front of them and then there was this like buck way off in the distance by himself just laying down and I don't know what he was doing but he was probably the buck those antelope and there's this like gigantic like herd of like 30 antelope like that like come like from different places all around um town to go out in this field that's like really near our house so we could um, see them really well. Like it's not near our house, it's right by the train tracks. And they like, they sleep there for the night. So it's like a gigantic herd. I, like, so that's cool. And like there's like these, an these antelope that are spread out all over Douglas. And then there's two big herds that gather up together to sleep at nighttime. 
So that's what I had to say. That's very good. Okay. Let's see. What do we have next? Oh, describe a memory, something that you drew in your nature notebook. Well, I described two. Describe one. Well, I drew a scarlet king snake, I think, and I drew it like laying like in this like circle, like a rat, and then I drew like some like some like egg, some of its eggs in the middle. I think they lay eggs. Yeah, they do lay eggs, right, mom? Yeah, I think we get my eggs. And so, like, so it was around the eggs, and then it was red and black, and like, so it's like red, black, red, black, red, black, yellow, black, red, black, yellow, black, red, black, yellow, black. I think that's how the pattern do goes. There's a pattern. What shape is that pattern in? It's in, so, say, this is the snake, and, so, the shape was, like, this, 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 this. The shape was, like, this. Okay. Do you do you know the word the name for that shape? It's um the stripes. The stripes. There's another word for it on when it's on a on a on a snake. Scales. Mm, scales. Yes, but the the shape that's called the bands. It's bands of color. Oh. That's a, good. So. Uh, so those were the colors, right? Yeah. On it. Let's see. What are, uh, well, while we're on reptiles, let's go on to it. Tell everything that you know about an animal with scales. Tell everything I know about an animal with scales. Well, so it's a snake. Well, I know that snakes are really dangerous, ex except the king snake and I think a few others. <laughs> And the most dangerous is a rattlesnake or a water moccasin. I don't know which is more dangerous. But that's the dangerous ones that I think are more most dangerous. And so each one of them has different patterns. Like the king snake has the pattern that I said. And then the eastern coral snake has red, yellow, black, red, yellow, black red, yellow, black. That's the pattern for the eastern coral snake. And I also drew that in my notebook. And so they do lay eggs, and I don't know how they lay eggs, but I don't know how they lay eggs. I don't know how snakes lay eggs, but they do. And then, uh, Oh, they do. Uh, oh, and then they. Oh, and rattlesnakes have a poisonous bite, and then water moccasins have a poisonous bite, and eastern coral snakes do. Um, I think that. Uh, Scarlet king snake, they do bite, but they are, don't have any venom or or poison. But I think when it's called a, when, with a snake, it's called venom, and that's what I know about snakes. Okay, good. Where does a snake live, and how does it eat? <laughs> well, rattlesnakes live in holes between, like in. So say there was a rock right here and a rock right here. And right, rock right here, rock right here.
rock right here, and then this is covered up with rocks, but there's this little hole that they can crawl through like this and get in here. Mm -hmm. And so that is where, like, how, where they hide. And so, like, and some robbers actually hide where they stole their gold there so that, like, people won't get it. And then when they want to get it back, we just get it really fast so that, like, the snakes won't get them. And that's I, the only, wait, uh, yeah, the eastern coral snake, of course, lives in the east, and that's where I know, that's what I know about snakes and where they live. Okay, um, how, how do snakes eat? How do snakes eat? Mm-hmm. Well, they, so, this So say this is the snake and this is the egg. So like the snake, like this is the snake's mouth. The snake eats the egg and like their skin is really stretchy. So like the like their skin there's this little like this big bump, like and like when it like goes through like the bump the bump moves, and so that and then it goes and goes and goes until it gets I don't know where. It Oh, and then, um, and then, and then, like, that, and then it, and then it, like, so they have this, like, slit in their belly where it comes, where the, the stuff that they eat comes out. It's, like, in their belly or somewhere around in their big, long, whatever. And that's how they eat. Okay. Tell everything that you know about turtles. Turtles? Yeah, turtles. We're back to turtles, okay. Okay, so, well, turtles, um, I didn't know this from, uh, from turtles, so, like, about turtles. So, like, they could, like, tuck their legs and head inside their shell for like, for some reason, I don't even know how they do it. And I didn't know anything about that. And they are really good camouflage, and they disguise as rock, and they can disguise as rocks really easily. <laughs> and then snapping turtles eat fish. And I think all turtles eat fish. Oh, a lot of turtles eat greens, too. So they have a lot of greens. And they're also <laughs> really slow. <laughs> and that's obvious because like they're so slow. And then um are tortoises are tortoises turtles? Uh they're kind of they're very closely related. I'm not sure exactly the turtles and tortoise family and tortoise and the turtle family. I'm not sure where they are in the taxonomy line, but you can talk about a tortoise if you want to. Okay, so, well, I'm just going to tell a story about when we saw a tortoise. Remember that? Yeah, I do. So, there was this tortoise, and, like, so, like, it was, it had all this dirt, and, like, all this dirt on it, like, that, like, the red sand that they have in dump trucks. So, like, like, we think that, like, the turtle, like, they, it accidentally got scooped into the dump truck, and, like, it went down the road, and then the turtle, like, climbed out of the dump truck and, like, like jumped out, and then it came into our yard, and, and then, like, it was, like, really, it was, like, really slow because of all the dirt, and so we picked it up and took it to the hose and washed it off, and then we let it go, and it went to the trail behind our house, and then, and that, and, like, yeah, there's uh, there's a forest behind our old house, and so it went in that forest, and then perfectly new home, and it got transported to who knows from who knows where. I don't know where it got transported from, 
could have got transported from where we live now in Wyoming. Probably not that far. Well, probably. Because it's not that much dirt that's easy to get in Wyoming. Because well, the ground is hard. Okay. All right. That is that concludes our natural history and general science oral quiz, oral exam here. It's not a quiz. Not a, not a quiz, not a quiz. It's an and exam. Is, is a lot of, like, the other tests in term two, like, oral? Mm-hmm. 